with the Belmont Stakes coming up this Saturday. I don't know why we decided to do this, but we sent our very own Bill Pedo to the track, and unfortunately, things got interesting in a very Bill Pedo way. Wow, well, Maggie got the race to Belmont on Saturday, and this is the track. This is incredible. Look at this. This is amazing. Isn't it beautiful? Mile and a half, the biggest track in the country. So the Belmont horses are going to go one full circuit around here. They'll pass right by this spot. So what are we seeing out here? This is a couple of days before the actual race. What's happening on the track? So we see horses training. They're prepping for their own individual races. I mean, we have races um, four or five days a week here, and uh, you see all these horses get out here getting ready uh, to compete. You send your horses out with the best possible chance you think they have to win and, and everybody's out there to win. That's for sure. Name of the game. So you guys train horses, you hire jockeys. What do you think? If you lost a few pounds, you might be able to do it. I got though. the right height though, right? Yes. You're okay, on the shorter so, side. But I need to be even shorter though. What, no, me, you just need to be skinnier. Okay, how much, how skinnier? About 150 pounds. That ain't, ain't, ain't happening. <laughs> It's amazing that horses run on this. Yep. And you and I are gonna now run on this. We're gonna try. Okay, we're gonna go for a run on the beach. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I won. Uh, no, you Who won that? <laughs> no, all me. Photo finish? Photo. I'm really into this. Can we check out your stable? Yes, please. I have the perfect horse for you to get ready. All right, let's go. Typical morning here at the track. We're now in the barn and we're going to a stall to check out one of your horses. You think I can handle it? In well, there? we're gonna see what a quick study you are, see if you can get him ready. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll kick you. You promise? <laughs> I promise. I hope You'll I don't be get fine. Kicked. I better not get kicked. <laughs> I'm not walking behind. No, I'm come like, over this yeah, side. <laughs> okay. Good. You gotta watch the front end. Yeah, okay, what do I need to All do? Alright, put this on him. Okay. So what do you have? This is the chamois. Okay. I'm not great at making Crease? my bed. Is this Yeah, this is good. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, I'm a little, little skittish. You're fine. I'm a little skittish. Now we got the foam pad. Do you think this horse is happy he, or unhappy that I'm in here right now? Um, uh, he's just checking you out, I think. Okay. I'm all right, all right horsey. We're all right. <laughs> We're all right. All right. Now we got the, ta the saddle. Okay. Okay. Throw that up on him. Okay. There you go. Nice. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm getting out of here. Can I get out of here? <laughs> yeah, are, you, uh, are you nervous? I'm getting a little nervous. Don't be nervous. They can sense that, you know. What? Okay. I'm getting out. <laughs> Bill, I think you did a great job. I think you're ready to ride one. Go wait outside and I'll go get her. I know Maggie said to wait outside because she's going to get me the perfect chorus, but before I go outside, I got to be in the stall here and get some of the hay out of here. It's what you got to do during a typical morning at the track. You got to get the stall ready for its occupant. So I finished up in the stall. I'm now going to go outside and wait for my horse. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind hot walking us for me? Oh, great. You know what? You got to walk before you learn to ride. Thank you. And now I'm going to get a horse to ride. I can't wait to see what she's going to bring out. I mean, it's a big moment. I mean, I'm actually going to get on a horse. And here it comes. And I can't wait to see my horse. Oh, what Maggie. What do you think, Bill? I think, I think I can handle this. I would hope so. I think I can handle this. Should She's I get on? She's the easiest ride in the barn. I think I can get handle this. Go ahead, get ready? on. I'm ready to win the Belmont Stakes. Let's go. I'm going to win the race. Triple crown. <laughs> Triple crown. <laughs> It's a mini and there horse. You go. Oh Snickers give me the ride there. Yeah, you heard you heard Snickers and you volunteered for this segment. <laughs> well, she told you needed to lose weight. I can't I mean, believe you rode that. I want to jockey height. <laughs> perfect, right? <laughs> the issue. I want to. We all need to thank Maggie because she was wonderful to be there, yeah. and uh, <laughs> she can be seen on Belmont Park Live on MSG Plus Wednesdays through Sundays. She was tremendous out there. And I was genuinely scared to death there on the stall. We I, know. I, can you uh, yeah. tell? <laughs> you guys see the confidence level raise when Bill got the small, got the small horse? Just to let you know that my, my daughter, who's now 11, Gracie. Yeah. She goes on a real horse. Riding horses. <laughs> and at four years old, she was winning medals. You ridden, know what? So. Next year, she's going to do the segment. The larger horse. <laughs> you guys have ridden a horse before? When I first rid rode a horse, I was scared to death. When it trotted, that's how pathetic I was. I was like a t probably 13 years old.
<laughs> but it was fun after you ride it for a while. But I was afraid. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. I don't like it. I just not convinced that <laughs> they see, like it. See, now I'm feeling like better about my on. On. how I yeah, react. No, right? it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I, I just didn't do it on national television. I so. had a, uh, a near-death experience with a horse oh, uh, no. back in my honeymoon. I'm just joking. It wasn't seriously oh, a near-death no. experience. But I'm riding with my wife. We go horseback riding. And we're riding down the street, Dominican Republic in Punta Cana, and the horse just takes off. And I'm like, oh, I'm just going along That's for like the ride. I'm just going down. Yeah, so it was it was fun for a little bit until the horse took off. And I'm like, all right, well, then you're it's, been nice. it's, been and nice. you're like it's been a this. nice night, life. So, yeah. You know, the, so the race is Saturday. <laughs> and the, the other aspect of the experience is, is it really is like the sand at a beach when you're running through there. Now, obviously, yeah. the horses are different than a human being, yeah. but it's incredibly deep. How deep it is. It, it really is amazing. Well, when we were talking, I think it was Paul Duca, we were talking, I was talking about my experience last year with Justify winning the, uh, the Triple Crown, and I was fortunate enough to be right on the track on the final stretch as they came through, and you're thinking, boy, I got a front row seat. You're literally right on the rail, and you're watching them come through, and what you find out is as they come by, that's all that dirt has to go somewhere as they're kicking it up, and we oh, all just got oh, covered. Complete. Wow. It's incredible, but you're right, because it's because of how, how deep it is, but it has to be, because it needs to be soft for them. It's, it's the most incredible experience to hear it, mm. because you do have the 100,000 people behind you in the crowd screaming, because they knew they were about to see a triple crown, which is rare, although recently not, but also the thunder that you hear from these horses as they're making that turn it's an intense, intense thing to experience. Wow. Hey, it was tremendous. It was a great yeah. day, and I'm glad I had the opportunity. And again, thanks to Maggie for being such a great hostess. For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out her right there. And remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.